Demanding safety. Neighbors say an intersection is dangerous for pedestrians. An elderly woman was killed at the crosswalk in Riverside. Welcome back to KKL 9 News at 9 and we're streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm Juan Fernandez. Residents want to see change at the spot where there's no traffic signal or a stop sign. Some pedestrians are now avoiding Victoria Avenue. KCAL 9 Inland Empire reporter Nicole Comstock is live now with the story. Nicole. Yeah, Juan and neighbors say this yield sign, which doesn't have a light on it at night, and it is pretty hard to see out here, just doesn't make sense for the neighborhood because there are so many pedestrians out here. They don't want another one of them to be killed. It's not the easiest intersection to navigate. Drivers turning right first have to cross into a bike lane before they have to yield behind these white triangles and wait for pedestrians to pass. But after a 73 year old woman was hit by a car and killed here at what's known as an uncontrolled crosswalk or a crosswalk without a traffic signal or a stop sign. It was sad because she all she wanted to do was just walk and be outside. Neighbors say the city needs to do something to make it safer. I mean, that doesn't cost anything to put a stop sign there instead of a yield. Elkie and Elizabeth used to see that woman on their daily walks along historic Victoria Avenue in Riverside, a very popular route for walkers and bicyclists. And now more than ever, they make a point to avoid this corner of the road. I definitely would not cross here because I don't feel safe crossing. There's cars that come really fast. Elkie says her city councilman previously told her this is why the yield sign could not be replaced with a stop sign. The studies show there's not enough foot traffic. Riverside police say they haven't had any more pedestrians killed at this particular intersection than at any other intersection in town, but that overall last year they had more pedestrian fatalities than ever. And that's continuing to trend upward. Citywide in 2021, nine pedestrians were killed in Riverside. And in just the first two and a half months of 2022, five pedestrians were already killed. Councilmember Ricardo Fierro sent us a written statement saying in part, while there has been no prior history of pedestrian related collisions at this intersection, staff is now in the process of conducting a thorough evaluation of this incident. The city will take appropriate action depending on the outcome of that evaluation. Well, police say more people are speeding and driving distracted as well, and that's why it's especially important for people, both drivers and pedestrians, to slow down when they approach an intersection and make sure no one's coming before they enter it. Reporting live in Riverside, I'm Nicole Comstock, KCAL 9 News. Thank you, Nicole.